Hey, I made a thing. So it is a bit holder, but it's not very good. So I'm just going to talk about things why I dislike about it and then maybe a little bit of V2. Uh, just in case if you're like a novice designer like myself and maybe you can leverage some learnings here. You don't fail. You learn from my failures. So that things, quick, quick design stuff that I dislike about it is that one, it's not the simplest thing in the world to assemble. You have a you got screws, so this man mounts to the wall control board. Uh, you have two different materials, so there's a PETG and then a TPU layer. And also there's glue uh, in between these two, so that's how I attach the layers. Glue is difficult when you have a lot of edges, so maybe if you're ever doing glue ups, make sure that you don't have edges. And hexagons, unfortunately, has a ton of edges. And I thought I designed it originally for hexagons, like the shape, because I thought hexagons are cool, but there are a lot of drawbacks for it. So um, one of which is that it creates a ton of edges. The second drawback is that it's difficult to organize. So if you make it in like a square pattern, you have like easy rows and columns. But with hexagons, because everything is shifted, uh, you'll it's difficult to actually have a row. You have to stagger them to basically um, get things in line. So when you're staggered like this, like, yeah, this is a row, but what's this, right? Then you have edges like that. So that, that kind of, that sucks. Uh, what else? Uh, because of the hexagon shape too, and there's so many edges, it makes it difficult to print. So uh, depending on, uh, I didn't have too much trouble with PETG, but the reason why this rubber layer is so thin is that with all these edges, it starts, the plastic starts rapidly cooling and after a millimeter, it just starts lifting from the print bed. So I couldn't print more than a millimeter width worth, which uh, which sucks, or maybe a millimeter or two uh, on this. Uh, the other things is that despite like the printer tolerances being sometimes a little too tight, I found that the rubber gripper is also not as, it doesn't feel that great. So, and if it's for me, like I want to at least like enjoy the feeling of pulling these things out. So yeah, yeah. So if we're talking about like features in V2, I wanted to make it easy to grab bits, easy to organize, no glue, fewer edges, uh, predictable layout, it's easy to assemble, easy to print. Okay, great. That's uh, that's that, and let's talk about how I design for V2. So I'm just going to start with a very small model. This is going to be a three by three space, so nine bits. And I'm going to keep the rubber topper like this here, but the difference is between the two rubber toppers is instead of having a, a smaller hexagon where I push a bit through and the rubber doesn't really have anywhere to fold or move, I actually just uh, made little crosses here so the rubber can fold inwards. So that, that allows it to print um, outside of tolerance spec, like a little bit, or have wider tolerances, but I get that margin of error and then it just folds inside. Also, I um, made wider circles. So instead of like printing hexagons, so in a hexagon shape in this, uh, or try to mirror a hexagon, like if you can kind of see with the, let's take this. This is supposed to be a hexagon, right? So, but it ends up being a, uh, uh, here, ends up being a circle. Uh, I might as well just print them as like larger circles. So if we put the bits into, uh, actually I got a couple here. So here we can easily uh, place the bits in. Great. Uh, so it has a very wide, Margin of error, which are so it's much wider than the bits, so it's easy to print quickly. Uh, and then the rubber allows for um, some air rate. So I got this like rubber topper, it fits there. So that's cool. Now I thought, you know what, uh, this should be okay uh, as is. Uh, so I could just pull the bits in and out and as long as. I don't touch the bits on the edges too much. Uh, the rubber topper will stay, right, from just the all the friction. But uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to build a uh, 
a top mount that clips on top of this. So this could be like a friction fit or, sorry, let's try this. So before I put the bits in, uh, it could be a friction fit or like clips in on the sides or something. And then it just looks like this is an overall design. So this makes it pretty easy to pull in and out. The bits are wide enough where I can just easily pull the small bits that are a little more recessed out, which is kind of cool. So it's good for, for my fingers as is or with gloves. And uh, with a friction fit, it should be, should be fine. Now, I tried two different types of fits here. So let's pull this out. Also, um, bit stay, which is nice. So some failures with this. Um, I think this is fine. I tried having uh, one is creating like a little uh, dimple or a divot into this. This is about half a millimeter. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to have that uh, top clamp. So on the sides here to just clip on the side like that. So I just place the top and this prevents any, like this allows that you don't need any sort of glue. This is not attaching, is it? Yeah. Weird. Oh. Let's try this again. Maybe it's this way. Yeah, here we go. So you can see this like locks in. Now the issue with this design, if you didn't catch it already, is that to install it, you have this rubber band tech piece where you try to get a lot of flexibility uh, out of the material that isn't supposed to be flexible. So PETG is pretty stiff. So getting, and you could see that like you'll never, no one's going to actually install this uh, like this right and then you have to expand evenly so as soon as you're going on a side which is just the natural way of just installing this you end up wanting to essentially rubber band this this would scale well so like a larger um, piece then you get a little more give with the material because PETG I think gives you like a few percentage points of flexibility but the problem with this is that like, okay, one millimeter is a bit thin. So as soon as you make it a bit thicker, then it's, then you don't get that same like flexibility benefits, it sucks. So that limits the minimum print size on this. Also, as soon as I add a top, like just the actual top layer here, I did this just, uh, I removed the top piece just to, for visualization purposes. But as soon as you do that, then stiffness uh, greatly increases. So and with that, I end up just snapping these tabs off. So here I have, this is just a different way to, to apply, but I have like the, um, the thing that goes into the divot on this side. And then when I try to uh, install it, it just snaps. So that sucks. So something to think about there. Uh, work around on, around that. So I thought maybe I can either get away with this just a rubber gripper as is and no glue, or I change the rubber gripper to a different style. So I have a, I actually don't have it here. So maybe I'll just talk a bit about another video, but it's a tongue and groove system where uh, I have like little bars that slot into uh, this, that's the theory. And then I can just uh, uh, play around with it. Or, and then I don't need to worry about glues or, or anything like that. Now this rubber gripper, I have a couple here. Uh, so I got the plus, line, plus sign, but I found this to be a bit firm. And this is like the fun bit for me. So we're gonna play around with this together. Just you and me. This, so I go on a bit and it's, I'd want it to ideally almost be thin enough or as grippy enough where it doesn't feel like I'm putting too much effort or any effort into it, but it's enough to hold the bits. So I feel um, pretty secure and it's this design. It's yeah, it's, it's not, it's 
it's a little bit too too sticky. So I decided to do this and solve this, make this less uh, grippy in two ways. One, I um, I can make it thinner, or two, I can change the design. So this one is a thin version of that. So let's see if you can see the thickness difference. So this is supposed to be about 0.5 uh, millimeters, and this is about, or um, because I'm printing at 0.4, it's 0.45 millimeters thick, and this is, I think, uh, 0.3. Let's actually measure it. So super quick, we're going to measure here. OK, so yeah, it's 0.5 and 0.4, fine. 20% thinner. Let's try this again. 0.55. Yeah, okay. Point, okay, 20, 30% thinner. So let's try it. Yeah, this is this is nice. It's starting to be nice. You got a bit of a clunk at the bottom. Pretty shitty bit. Let me try this other one. Nice. So, does it pass the test? Well, yeah, it doesn't uh, stay on. That's fine, but they all stay together, so that's something. Uh, of course, it wouldn't stay on. But we can also put this part. Yeah. Obviously, I'll install this before, and then I can just yeah. I think this might be a winner, so we put this in the winners category. And because it's such a thin layer of TPU, it doesn't really cost much. So this is a winner, and this would be a loser. Let's uh, let's draw something. W, L, okay, cool. So that will be our winner tab. Let's uh, clean up our workspace a bit. Okay, so this is another design. Uh, here I made a four millimeter circle uh, that punched out through the, so same thickness as this, supposedly, let's see. So let's call it five, five, eight, five, five. Yeah, same thing. Okay, so same thickness, uh, but I just added a four millimeter circle. So, uh, in essence, the only the edges of the hex bit will grip. So, so you could see that's four millimeters. But if we go from uh, edge to edge, we're looking at 0.45. And if we do the math, uh, let's see. If we do the math, it is we're looking at a millimeter and 1.3 millimeters uh, of surface area that's going to touch this thing. So let's see how that works or how that feels. Oh, this is even lighter. Nice. So. Point, so point, uh, 1.3 millimeters uh, being deflected. Um, nice. Nice. I like this. So it... Nice. It, it holds on. And it's... Uh, I think this is even better. Let me see with the top mount how it feels. Just... Where are you? So, a top mount. Nice. So I'm not paying attention to like these holes and stuff. I'll, I'll clean up the print later. Just care about the functionality. 
Nice. I think this feels better than that. So now why thicker? So thicker is, uh, I would assume is a bit easier to print, uh, but I'm making that entirely up. Uh, the differences in material costs I'm not too worried about. So I'm gonna place it above uh, this one. Another design, uh, this is where I uh, kept the crosses. Uh, so same, same, same deal as this, but I just made them uh, wider. So I, uh, what is it called? I, there, that's right. I offsetted the edge. So I traced around the edge of uh, the crosses here these crosses by, I think it's 0.5. So they're a bit wider. So only the corners of the cross would touch the bits themselves. Let's try that. And for sport, we're gonna just put this on. So this is, um, so all of these are definitely Thinner or less less grippy, uh, and they all achieve the same job. So we're probably splitting hairs here. I don't like this design. It's a bit worse because I'm. And one of the benefits of just doing it by hand is that if you're not an engineer like myself, unable to properly map these things out, you can actually get a feel of, for this. So what I'm looking for is how consistent each. Uh, each bit is and the consistency is related to like how accurate you need the print to be so the print we're looking at a four millimeter bit and uh 0.2 millimeters in accuracy so like if i'm relying on these corners to be accurate then of course it makes sense why this which it does it does not feel consistent so this is not my favorite design so this goes into a loser category. Uh, this design's my favorite. Uh, I think only because it feels more consistent uh, than this one. So crosses, again, you have edges, you have more opportunities for, uh, you have essentially more opportunities for the print to be inconsistent or to feel inconsistent, but these are close. So we are this over so let's spell out the winners here I like that it feels like it feels like almost like a balloon you just plop it's kind of cool okay now let's try this one with uh, the circles here, then the cross. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking like what I'm doing is I'm trying to imagine working, and this is not something I want to be thinking about. I just want to just jam the bit here. So I might just do it like that, haphazardly, I'm tired. Will it stay? It does. So it stays because obviously I have the gripper at the very top, so it's not gripping at the bottom. Cool. All right, this is uh, not supposed to be this long for such a basic video, but yeah. I think that's, that's enough for today.